Outlander season 3 finale lands in the colonies after a heck of a fight. Oh hey, America. Claire and Jamie have officially landed in the colonies after one hell of a ride in the Outlander season 3 finale. And we're not just talking about the literal boat ride that went horribly wrong there at the end. First, Jamie was on his way to being imprisoned, while Claire was having to explain herself to Galus mistress Abernathy Duncan. She was not following Galus or trying to steal stones for a prophecy, but was in fact just trying to live her own life, protect her child, and go back to her husband. While John Gray got Jamie out of his mess with the law, the poor young captain of that ship, Claire told Galus about her daughter, who was conceived a whole 200 years before she was actually born, making her a 200-year-old baby. That lined up with the prophecy stating that the new king of Scotland would rise at the death of a 200-year-old baby, so Galus prepared for a trip to kill Brianna, with Ian in tow as her sacrifice. Claire and Jamie made it to the cave in time to rescue Ian, but Claire had to nearly decapitate Galus, R.I.P., crazy lady, in the process leaving her bones to rot for 200 years before eventually being sent to Joe Abernathy in the 1960s. There was also a slave ritual and another run-in with relevant Campbell and his sister, who has now fallen in love with Mr. Willoughby. And all of it was thankfully so much less weird than it was in the book. A lot of this season, in fact, was less weird than it was in the book, but there were never any times where it felt incorrectly adapted. We spent a lot of time questioning our own memories of the book because all the changes felt like they could have not been changes at all. Most of the finale was made up of large sections of the book condensed and occasionally reordered to make them even more exhilarating. It also somehow made things even more terrifying, like that boat ride. Condensed to a minute or two, that sudden storm and subsequent shipwreck was devastating. How anyone survived that time when there was no way to travel except by boat, we may never know, especially considering that they didn't have a Jamie Fraser to dive to the depths of the sea to rescue them like he did for Claire after she went overboard and basically drowned for a bit. Eventually they both washed up alive, somehow, on a beach in Georgia, meaning it's about time for season 4. Let the drought lander begin again. Outlander will return in 2018. <laughs>